I think it's hilarious how my viewers don't like my Bible videos. How it just goes right over your head. I think it's really hilarious. Because none of you seem to understand that this planet is owned by God. And no matter how you look at it, you still will be judged one day. But here's even the more funnier part. There are no women in heaven. None. As a matter of fact, the one third of the angels that left heaven left heaven so they can go fuck with the human women. There's only the few human women that are good out there that'll be in heaven one day when you go up there and you're like, huh, where are all the women at? Think about how many women are up there before. How many there will be now? We like to call women the weaker species. We like to see women as a more soft-carrying, providing type. Yet there are barely any women in heaven. You know, God even makes women suffer on earth so that they, they can actually be redeemed to go to heaven. God actually says that women can be redeemed through childbirth. That they actually experience the growing up part of their brain during labor. That they learn responsibility by carrying a baby for nine months. You don't, you don't really think, do you? There are no women in heaven. The only ones that there are there are the few good ones in this world. And it's not going to be that many. Some could even say that heaven is a sausage fest. But it's not. It's different. It's not the same kind of uh, experience. For one, you're going to have your own place so you never really run into somebody else. But there are no women in heaven. Just maybe a few. A few good seeds along the way. You know, I've said it before that there is a highway to hell and that's called Mainstream. And if you're following the mainstream, you are following the mainstream to the point of hell. So if all the women today are with the feminazi shit, aborting their kids and doing all this nasty shit, do you really think that God is going to let them into heaven one day? Hell is filled with women. Filled to the brim with women. I would not want to hear the cries and scream of hell. Because I don't like to hear the high pits of women's voices screaming their heads off. But that's what most is going to be down there. It's going to be like 90% women. Just think about that. Like I said, you know, Lucifer got kicked out of heaven, landed on earth, and his angels followed him because they wanted to have their own kingdom, their own domain, and they wanted to fuck the human women. They even did so. They created the Nephilim. That's why God wiped them out, and that's why Noah had to make, build a boat. That's why I bet all the Nephilim. Think about this, folks. There are no women in heaven. There are no female angels. They're, they're a gigantic delusion. They don't even understand it. They are nothing more than a creation. Man is a creation. But man stands in full account to the Lord, while women stand in full account to men. And since they don't even do that anymore, hell is going to be overflowing with women. Absolutely. Absolutely. Women do not even understand the role that they have to play anymore. They are completely lost. They are completely gone. They have no clue how to be a wife. No clue how to be a mother. They, they get rid of half of the part there that's going to help them. Think about this. They have children with the man. Then get rid of the man and think that the man can be replaced with a fucking bag of cash. That's, that is how stupid they are. Then their children turn on them around the age 12, 13. Run, the girls run away from home. The boys don't want to go home no more. It's standard, man. It's so fucking standard. These women have absolutely no more clue in this world of how to be a woman. They like to say to you to man up, but they don't even have the smallest clue on how to be a woman. They're so dense, they're looking at being a guy as the way to be. Oh, I have to be competitive. I have to get with it, I, I can't have a child, I must stay competitive, I must stay in the match, I must stay in the game, I cannot fall out of the game, I'll lose my job. Females have completely, absolutely lost their perspective on what it is to be a human being. They're no longer human. They are almost machine-like. <laughs> I mean, if men did what women are doing right now, all men would just start painting their nails, Acting all feminine and acting like giant women. Because women right now are acting like men. They have lost their way. They'll never find it again. 
It's like Adam and Eve all over again. We let the women bite the apple. The bite of the apple was a sexual revolution. Now they're running free what they think is their knowledge. Just like Eve did after she ate the apple. She thought she was full of knowledge. There are many... <laughs> oh, I just think it's so hilarious how nobody actually seems to understand this. There are no women in the heavens. They don't exist. Just the few, maybe the few. We don't really know how many good women there really were in history, but I don't think there was that many. Just to name you a few female sins that will forbid them from entering heaven. Adultery. But our version of adultery and God's version of adultery is completely different, folks. You see, our form of, form of adultery is when we are with the woman and she cheats on us or does something to fuck over the relationship, then it's adultery. But to God, it's if you are married to a woman and she divorces the man, then anybody she ever sleeps with, it, she's an adulteress. You see, God understands that woman belongs to a man, that a man owns a woman. A man cannot even make decent love to a woman, have decent sex with a woman, unless he knows that he can totally own her. This is why a woman is to be submissive. It's not to degrade her, not to humiliate her. Men have sexual urges, and no man wants to sleep with a woman who is in control. Forget that shit. We want a submissive woman that obeys and does what we tell her to do in the bedroom. And whether these women like to accept that or not, that is their fucking delusion and their problem. It is not us men's problem. It's not our problem. <laughs> man wanted something to fuck. And God gave man something to fuck. It's that simple. We don't have to care about their emotions. We don't have to care about how they feel. We don't have to care about them. They are property. And whether they wish to believe that or not, or say, hey, get with the modern times. No. The world is designed a certain way. You all want to go into an opposite direction of what is supposed to be done, and you want me to follow your insanity. You want me to turn my back on my God and follow you down the path to hell. And I'm like, fuck that. I'd rather go to heaven one day. I'd rather be good with my father. And the funny thing is, MGTOW world out there, God is on your side. God is on the side of MGTOW. He's not on the side of the women. He completely hates abortion. He hates adultery. He hates feminism. <laughs> Think about it, folks. Knowledge is not stupid. Knowledge is power. The Bible is filled with knowledge. Things that you could know to better your life instantly. Just read the book of Proverbs. There are all stories in there that can teach you things so you don't have to go down that path yourself. And you can learn from the story. Learn how the, how the road ends up. Learn how the road is a dead end. Before having to walk down the dead end. And wasting all that time just to find out that you're going down the dead end. God even clearly says that women have to redeem themselves on this planet. Do you understand that they have to redeem themselves? Men do not have to redeem themselves. Men just have to ask for forgiveness. Females have to redeem. That means they have to become good in the eyes of the Lord. They have to earn God's respect while man already has it. But man has tarnished it through his own dirty deeds. If you ask forgiveness for these dirty deeds, you will be forgiven. And you will be instantly right with God. 100% good with God. Women, on the other hand, have to spend their whole life struggling to become worthy enough to be worthy in God's eyes. They have to redeem themselves. Just thought I'd bring that out. Let you all know what's going on. This is Ward Dunsfire. See you all tomorrow. Have a good evening.